Min Karlesk, a brave hero of the Imperial Guard, is one of the survivors of the apocalypse that ended Cadia. After her homeworld's been destroyed, she fights on to honor those who are no more. Her stunning miniature has just been released by Games Workshop and I just had to paint it. Glad you are here and along for the ride. Let's go. I would like to show you how to get this miniature, or any other Cadian for that matter, painted up really quickly and easily and then present a few tricks to take it to the next level. Regardless of what you're aiming for, I suggest you start with the Xenophil highlight, just like I did here. Such an approach helps you see what needs highlighting and also provides a nice canvas for transparent paints. Also, a super light dry brush of white will nicely cut some of the edges and make them pop a bit more. My plan was to use speed paint to quickly block in all the colors and make proper use of the values created by the Xenophil highlight. I strongly suggest you give this type of paints a go. I went with palette bone to get started on the fatigues. I made sure not to touch any other areas and went around the miniature section by section. As green and khaki are the classic Cadian color scheme, I chose camo cloak to paint any pieces of armor. I mixed in a bit of purple alchemy to my crusader skin to shift its hue a little bit towards the cold spectrum. This resulted in a little more interesting flesh tone. The miniature is finally starting to look like something, right? Still, there's plenty more to do. I chose dark wood to paint the hair and the straps on the boots. It's a very dark brown, but it will still leave some highlights there once it's dry. At least I hope so. Alright, green black for the weapon and a few bits and bobs around the miniature. Like the knife on the back and the boots. The cooler you are, the more pouches you have and Minka has plenty. I painted them with hardened leather to make them stand out a bit. For the ground, I simply mixed all the brownish colors I already had on my palettes. I'm a cheap bastard and I was not happy with letting them go to waste. Camo cloak, yes, leftover camo cloak for the sandbag. And just as a final little touch, some purple alchemy for the blade handle. Okay, you could stop here and leave the model as is. But if you'd like to add a bit of magic dust and improve it with a tiny time investment, I'll be happy to show you how. Alright lady, you're getting some highlights. I started with bone white, just gently tapping my brush around the edges and raised details of the fatigues to make them look more like fabric. You see, adding even a simple texture will enrich in your miniatures a lot, so keep that in mind. While you're watching me highlight here, let me tell you about some ways you can support me so that I can create more content like this. I would really appreciate if you'd consider subscribing as I'm currently trying to increase the number of my followers. Also, you can buy me a coffee by following the link in the description, if you're feeling especially generous today. Oh, I almost forgot about this sneaky little place here. It needs a highlight too. Next up, I used army green on the armor. I was going for a smoother highlight this time, with just a few little scratches here and there. Remember, paint consistency is key when it comes to edge highlighting. By using paint that's watered down just a tad and making use of mostly just the side of your brush, you'll be able to edge highlight just about anything. The armor looks better now, but it needs one more highlight, I think. I mixed in a little bit of the bone and added another thinner highlight to the most prominent edges to make them pop a little bit more. To increase the saturation of the green used on the armor, I gave the flat panels a light glaze of heavy green. This is purely optional and despite looking quite drastic here in video, it will have a rather subtle effect once it's dry. I highlighted the black using heavy blue-grey, going for a rather worn and used look on the lasgan here. I'm sure it's been in use quite a lot. Next up, I used somber grey on the boots. Following that, I highlighted the pouches using Cardic Flesh, a very universal color from P3 Formula. The hair received some tiny highlights of sundry dust, just to show a bit of light reflecting off of it. I then proceeded to highlight the skin using Bagman's Glow with some white mixed in, focusing on the uppermost areas. I used a couple of layers to build this color up, leaving some of the purplish areas intact. Once I was happy with the result, I added a super thin layer of my original flesh tone speed paint mix to restore some of that contrast that might have been lost during highlighting. 
To highlight the rocks, I went for a very spontaneous layer of grey sear to simulate some texture and increase the brightness a bit. I didn't pay too much attention to where the highlights were going, as the next step would shift the look of the base a lot anyway. Speaking of which, I used a mixture of water and pigment powder to add a bit of dusty goodness to the entire base, including the skull, the sandbag and so on. This is a very easy trick to make your bases look a bit more advanced. In fact, I'm surprised I don't see this technique around that much. Ok, hold your breath now. Time for the tiny eye highlight. I hate this, I hate this so much. As you see, I'm going for a single white dot here which is enough to trick your brain into believing there's an eye there. It's all I ever do, frankly. Nice. I left the metallics for last. I used gunmetal here. I like this colour. It's cold and it's so dark that I don't think it even needs a wash. I usually just highlight it with a brighter paint and call it a day. And so I did here as well, choosing iron hand steel to give all the metallic surfaces on the miniature a bit of a pop. The miniature is done. It's time for an epic reveal. This was a very fun video to make and I really enjoyed painting Minka. Her pose is just so intense. Sadly this miniature was a commission and I have to give her away, oh well. Thank you ever so much for watching. Subscribe for more and see you next time I hope.